What's up, Internet? It's Dave here from GI Tactical and Airsoft GI here in Plano, Texas. And today we've got another Q&A with all of us here at the Texas store for you about green gas pistols this time. With our first big question being, how does it work? So getting a green gas pistol to work is pretty simple. You just take your can of gas, take your magazine, line up the fill valve on the bottom with the nozzle on the can after a good shake and just let it fill for about six seconds or so. And then your magazine should be full. You should be able to take your pistol, insert your magazine, drop your slide and shoot. Pretty simple, huh? Our next question is, where do I go to get green gas? Hmm, that's gonna be a tough one. No, it's not. You get it from Airsoft GI, obviously. But one of the most popular questions that our fancy schmancy search engine searching tool tells us that you guys are asking about green gas pistols is, what's a really good pistol to get for insert price range here? Now, there was a couple of different options. They can go anywhere from like 55 bucks up to like $200. But by and large, the one at the top of that list was, what's the best green gas pistol that I can get for $140? And I've got the answer for you right here. So what I'd recommend for 140 bucks or less is the KLI Baba Yaga. It'll be out here before you know it. They're fantastic pistols. And we've been spending a lot of time with this sample here in store and have been nothing but impressed. And on top of that, it even does CO2, which is pretty wicked. So you get some options. So that leads us into our next question. How do you turn a green gas magazine into a CO2 magazine? You know, it kind of depends. So with green gas magazines, the valves are all designed for green gas. A lot of CO2 magazines are the same way. And if you want to use the cartridge, there's really no way to convert it. However, that doesn't mean that all green gas guns can't take CO2. Take, for example, the KLI High Kappas. They can take a green gas magazine or a CO2 magazine, and it's as simple as switching one out and popping a new one in. That simple. So if all you're trying to do is convert the gun from one gas to the other, a lot of pistols are compatible. Uh, popular brands for this are KJW, KLI, some WeTech and VFC pistols can even do it now too. However, some pistols are still green gas only and for those you really can't convert them. So you just need to check the specs on the guns that you're buying or the gun that you're wanting to have a question about changing gas over. You can put higher pressure gas into your guns if you found a way to adapt it with a CO2 charger. Those things exist on the market. But the problem is if your gun's not rated for it, it is going to break eventually. So our last question is how often should a gas blowback pistol be oiled? So that actually kind of depends. Really and truthfully, it should be oiled as often as it needs to be. Now, how do you figure that out? Let's take a closer look inside this KLI high cap, shall we? Let me pop it open here. Let's get a closer look. All right, so what you're looking at here is the KLI pistol broken down. Now you've got your slide components here and you've got your frame and your grip and all that stuff up here on top. What you wanna watch out for is this part right here, this part back here, and your hammer and trigger components on a high cap style gun. Uh, striker fire pistols like Glocks have a slightly different mechanism, but you're gonna see a lot of similar parts. On the slide, you're looking where the slide rails ride, right in here, and the blowback unit. What you're looking for is to make sure that they're all properly lubricated, not too dry, not too wet. You can have too much lubrication and you definitely don't wanna screw that up. So what we recommend is uh, no more than a drop on each of these components. Uh, less if you can, honestly, what you're looking for is a smooth, thin coating that sticks properly. Use 100% silicone oil. Don't use anything like REM oil, CLP, any of that stuff. It's got petroleum distillates in there. It'll eat up all your O-rings and plastic parts and that's bad for your pistol. So that pretty much does it for the top questions on green gas pistols. Now, if you guys enjoyed these Q and A's, we do a new one every Wednesday. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, go ahead and ding our dong so you guys can join the notification squad. And I will see you guys in the next video. If we missed anything, make sure you guys drop something in the comments below. If you guys have any more questions, if you guys have a good idea for next week's topic, let us know. We wanna hear from you. Reach out to us on social media, reach out to us in store, through the comments section, any way that you guys can find. Send a carrier pigeon if that's the only way. Just know that we don't do smoke signals and we'll see you guys next time.